guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be going over five ways we can use translucent setting powder. So I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier setting powder, but you can use whichever one you want. So if you've had a makeup lesson with me, you know I am a diehard fan of translucent powder for different reasons. So I'm gonna be going over the five different reasons that I use it. So first things first um, is just the typical way you use um, a setting powder, and that's to set your foundation. So anything cream, you should set with powder if you want it to last a lot longer. You would pick up the product on your brush, and I'm just gonna look in a mirror right here, and you would just set your face. And so what this is gonna do is it's going to make your foundation last a lot longer, it's going to combat any oiliness, and it's gonna make your, um, your face just a lot more matte as opposed to dewy and glowy. So another way you can use it is if you have put too much product on, so this can work with your blush, it can work with your bronzer, it can work with your eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use a blush for Makeup Revolution, it's in the shade Beloved. And I'm just going to put too much blush on just so I can show you how it fixes it. So as you can see... So now I'm going to go in with the translucent powder, it's on my powder brush, and I'm just going to go over that blush area and it's just gonna mute everything down a lot more so obviously this side's still gonna look a lot more pink than this side because I put blush on this side so it's not gonna completely take it away it's just gonna dye it down it's just gonna kind of dilute it and make it look a lot more muted so say your eyeshadow went too far up so obviously my eyeshadow today is a lot um, more dramatic and it's all the way up to my brow bone but say you wanted to just dilute it and brighten up underneath that brow bone a little bit more and just blend everything, I would just go over and you just see how it just blended everything and brightened everything up. Number three is baking. So lots of people bake under their eye, which I don't do because if you have any fine lines at all, it's just going to dry your under eye out and just make it look a lot more crepey. But how I bake is I bake my contour. So just to make your contour look a lot more um, sharp and defined, you just take a ton of powder, and I'm using my beauty blender, and I'm just drawing that line. So you just want to let it sit for like a minute or so. And it's just going to make your contour pop. We're just going to let this sit, and we're just going to go on to number four. And number four is is to catch your fallout. So say normally when I do a dramatic makeup look, I do my eyes first and then I go in with my foundation. But say you did your foundation first and then you went in with your eyes and you don't want all that fallout to fall into your foundation that you just did. You just take the, a bunch of product, just like this powder. So you're gonna take like a ton of powder, I'm not gonna do it now, but you just pack it underneath and then at the end of your eyeshadow look, you just wipe it away, not wipe it away, but take a brush and flick it away. And then that way it will catch all your fallout and you won't have any fallout at all. Okay, so now let's dust off that powder. As you can see, so as you can see, it's just sharpened everything and made a lot more precise and cleaned everything up. Okay, so the last way to use it, I just put some lipstick on that has a little bit more of a sheen to it. You pull apart a tissue in two. So you're going to split the tissue apart, place it on your lips, and pack the powder on top of that tissue, and it's going to mattify the lipstick. There you go, and you have matte lipstick. Okay everyone, so that's it. Those are my five tips and tricks how to use your translucent powder for different reasons. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on my next one. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!